Hi, I'm Amy Henderson, and I'd like to give you a sneak preview of a terrific exhibition we're opening at the National Portrait Gallery this October. A hundred years ago, dance helped spark the birth of modernism. In Paris, the first night audience attending the Rite of Spring erupted in fury at the outrage of the new confronting them. Stravinsky's music was upsetting. Diaghilev's dancers were thumping around on stage. Where were the tutus of tradition? In America, dance was part of the same burst of modernism, but here, everything was new. Opportunity was everywhere. Our exciting new exhibition, Dancing the Dream, will describe how dance has defined the national experience, how dance is really American culture in motion. Drawing on the National Portrait Gallery's remarkable collections, Dancing the Dream will spotlight singular sensations in American dance, iconic figures with signature styles who leap into the starscape and strike us with wonder. American dance has always embodied the pulse of the new. In the early 20th century, Florence Ziegfeld and Anna Held brought chorus lines to Broadway in the Ziegfeld Follies. Women were still wearing dresses down to their ankles when Loie Fuller performed barefoot, waving giant scarves. Isadora Duncan did too, and both created sensations not only in New York, but around the world. Hollywood projected larger-than-life images of dancers swooping across the silver screen. Fred and Ginger helped America forget the Depression with their top hat and sequined elegance. Shirley Temple sang and tapped her way into the nation's heart with her sweet innocence. The distinctive look of American dance was created not only by figures who moved across stage and screen, but by visionary choreographers who created these moves. Ted Shawn was a pioneer modern dance choreographer along with Martha Graham and Agnes DeMille, a tradition continued by such contemporary choreographers as Alvin Ailey, whose famous work, Revelations, was created for Judith Jamison. Ballet was also shaped by the American experience. During the Cold War, America became a political asylum for such renowned performers as Mikhail Baryshnikov and Natalie Makarova. They not only tapped into America's exuberant potential, but sparked a surging popularity for ballet in America. Today, the most popular performer on the planet is Beyonce. Dance has become a defining element of performance, and all major stars inject their music videos and stage shows with a dazzling array of modern dance, aerobics, jazz, tap, hip hop, and funk. Just like 100 years ago, America is still a land of opportunity. Every day, we still search for the new. And it's still about dancing the dream. Shall we dance? <laughs>